So the girls are absolutely loving the tape-ins, the clip-ins, the more natural installs, sew-ins, just things with natural leave-out and everything that looks natural. So I'm going to show you guys these clip-ins that I got from Curl Queens. And Curl Queens has texture clip-ins, tape-ins, micro-links, eye tips, west wigs, and ponytails. So you can definitely get a lot, but today we're trying the clip-ins. So let's get into it. So let me first say guys, this bag is just gorgeous. I love the gold. Comes with this super cute Curl Queens brush. And it says Curl Cute Queens on the back. And then we get this super cute bonnet. Look at this bonnet guys, so pretty. So I got some clip-ins with color because, you know, I just want to spice things up a little bit and I thought it would be cute. So it's like this dirty blonde color. Like how pretty is this guys? These clip-ins are thick, honey. Like the quality is amazing and it even feels textured. Like it's definitely giving like kinky straight. Like it feels very textured. Not necessarily kinky straight, but y'all, I'm excited. Like look at these clip-ins. Thick from root to tip. Look how thick they are. Look at this color. I'm excited y'all. So we have two clip-ins, two wefts that have one, two, three, four, five, five clips. So typically I put these like in the middle of my head. Guys, this color, look at the color. So pretty. And then we have two tracks with four clips on it. Then we have two more tracks with three clips on it. And then we have four tracks with two clips on it. So these just fill in and go at the top or wherever you need them at. So I think I'm going to do something a little different, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead for a middle part. So we're just going to part my hair down the middle. So guys, clip-ins is a great way to add color. As you guys can see, I have my natural hair color. So these clip-ins are going to be perfect for adding color. What I'm going to do is part my hair in half. Your parts do not have to be clean, you guys. If you want them to, they can, but they don't have to. So I'm going to turn around and show you guys. And I'm going to let voice over braid take over. So I'm going to start off with the three clip-ins in the back. You want to just pop them open like so. And then you just part your hair and then you put the clips into your hair and you snap them back. Hopefully that makes sense. Clip-ins are really easy to use. Just make sure that you are putting them into your hair really good so you don't get any pulling or snags. You want them to be securely fastened so you won't have any breakage or anything like that so i'm going in with the five clip-ins and putting them in the middle because these stretch the longest but as you guys can see um, i'm going to use the two clips to go in the front and guys trust the process i know it looks a little wonky right now my hair is blunt cut in this hair um, when you're putting clip-ins in your hair and your hair is blunt cut you will kind of um be able to tell the difference especially with color so i suggest if you have blunt cut like this and um you just need to add more fullness and length then you want to go ahead and get some natural colored clippings as well to add just so that it can blend a little bit better but once i curled my hair up you can't tell and it looks really really good so just like i said do as you need to the thing about clippings is they are customizable so you can put them in place them wherever you need to and i'm just putting the short ones here at the top for a middle part install so here it is guys like i said you can see my hair where it ends just because it's blunt cut if my hair wasn't blunt cut it wouldn't be able to tell the difference i promise you guys especially if my hair was longer like it was before with these clip-ins in it would be bomb and the blend would be really really good you wouldn't see that bluntness but even in the back like you can barely see it in the back it's just really like on the sides and where i have a lot of hair out on top so like i said that's where you want to maybe add natural color clip-ins to your hair so that it can blend in with the blonde so i'm going in and curling my hair with my curling iron and like i said once i did this process 
you'll see that it blended flawlessly. So keep on watching. I'm going to show you guys how it turns out. So here we are, volume, body, curls, look at it guys, so freaking gorgeous. To turn this up a notch, you can add layers, you can do all that stuff, but like I said, my hair is cut blunt, so I didn't want to add any type of layers or anything and risk cutting my hair, because it's just not that deep and you can still get this look without it, but look at it guys, looks so gorgeous, the color is bomb. And I just absolutely love it. These clippings are giving me life. So I just wanted to turn around and show you guys the back. It looks really, really good, you guys. Like I said, if you want to add longer clippings with your natural hair for everything to blend, if your hair is blunt cut like me, go for it. And the look will be even more flawless and the blend will be even better. So I absolutely love the way this turned out. And I just want to show you guys how I go from this style to another. So keep on watching. So we know the girls absolutely love a half up half down look so let's get into it i just took the two clippings out from each side and i'm just going to pull my hair up into a ponytail as you guys can see everything is still curled and everything so all i have to do is just rearrange the placement of the clippings that's all so i'm just separating the front portion from the back and then i'm gonna go ahead and and add the clippings in between the ponytail now i do it this way because it's just more natural and i don't like wrapping the tracks around my ponytail because the clips are a little bit too bulky for that so i just add the clips and it lays flat just like you would have in clippings or um tape-ins or micro links or anything like that is still going to lay flat like this and you'll still have that natural look so i just put my scrunchie on and put it as tight as i can so that it can give me that va va voom look with all the volume and here we go guys i absolutely love it so cute would you look you can put it in a bun. You can really do so much with this style, guys. So I'll leave the link to these clippings down below. Definitely check them out. They're so cute, guys. I love you all so, so much. Remember, do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Talk to you guys down below. Bye. Mwah.